Yeah, black screen. Yeah, fumbling to. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Why is it still a black screen? There you go. It like it like instantly went to the Nintendo logo the first time I hit reset, and so I was like, oh, I gotta be quick and like you know pause it. I don't know, whatever. Is it gonna ask me about fifty and sixty hertz mode? No. Okay, it did that the first time I loaded this game, and then it did it after I was fucking with graphic settings and it crashed, and then I reloaded it. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, um, been a couple of years since I played the first one. That was on Wii, so it had the shitty controls, and I couldn't save state, and it's a harder game. And a worse game, so... <laughs> Hopefully I'm gonna have a better time well, with this don't, one. don't go saying that yet. People will, uh... You know, the Pikmin 2 haters are gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. Um... So, uh... Yeah, for a while I was considering, like, you know, maybe I'll get this on the Wii U eShop before that closes, and then and then I got um, my new laptop, and I'm like, nah, okay, I'll just, I'll do it on this. And then literally, like, last week, they announced the HD remaster, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do it on Switch. And then I saw it was basically the same as just doing it on Dolphin, and, like, I'm not that huge a Pikmin fan, and I wouldn't be playing the first one again, so I'm like, yeah, no, I'll just yeah, you'd be Yeah, you'd be losing the product placement. That's and that's another it, thing, yeah. It's you part of this. Have is, save states. I yeah yeah I wanted save states. I also was interested in showing the European products because I'm playing the European copy of the game, which has different product placements. So you'll be able to be like, oh huh, normally this is like you know, right? Fucking light speed breeze. Um, the the one thing that I'm missing <clears throat> by not playing the Switch version is that they actually remastered. These opening cinematics. These cutscenes, yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, I, I'm amazed that they had the original files to do that. I saw somebody speculate, you know, maybe it, maybe they didn't have the original files. Maybe it was AI upscaled, which is possible. But they looked pretty nice, though. It didn't seem to have any jank. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm an expert on that, but yeah, I'm not an expert on AI <clears throat> upscaling specifically. So ravenous space bunny. I don't. I don't mention this a lot, and I guess people don't know this, but my degree is in. Artificial intelligence, so I do know a bit about it. It was what I went to university for. Um, Speaking so, of, so it bugs AI me when I see scaling in the remaster. So they did that to uh, they did that to like the little preview images of the five like world maps in Pikmin One, oh, and are. they look a little crispy. <clears throat> Somehow it feels weird to me thinking that Nintendo would use that. I don't know. It seems like the kind of thing they just they just wouldn't do. <laughs> so, um, I would like to just address here this poor fucking guy. You know, he's <laughs> he's. I, I don't remember what he was doing in the first game. If it was for work or if he was on vacation or something. But you know, he gets stranded on Earth or whatever we're gonna call the planet, and PNF four hundred four. Basically, like you know, manages to survive this extremely dire situation uh, and is, you know, missing his wife and kids the whole time and, you know, just wants <laughs> Comes to, back, to get doesn't back. doesn't even get to see them. Yeah, he, get, he gets back. He doesn't see his family. They immediately sell his fucking ship that he just reassembled, including the little sentimental ornaments that he had to collect <laughs> for it. Um, And then they're like, oh, by the way, the company's gonna fail. We need you to go back. <laughs> like, Fucking this president is terrible. Yeah. Louis is generally considered the worst character in the series. You know, not I mean, necessarily. Like, he's basically the villain of this game, right? Like... I mean, he is. He, he, he's he's fucking horrible. But the president is like almost as bad. Yeah, it's it's two different types of evil, I guess. <laughs> I love that Louis is just a complete piece of shit. It's way more interesting than if he was just, you know, a second captain that was just another cool guy hero. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, like, what if he was an absolute scumbag? <laughs> <laughs> that screwed you over in two different games. And speaking of poor Olimar, there's the whole thing in Pikmin 4 where it looks like you're being, like, you know, you're going up against, like, a fucking possessed, mutated Olimar or something. Yeah. Everyone's, you know, making these... Pikmin one bad ending comparisons. I, I don't have any theories. No, I, on that I think yet. there's definitely inspiration. I think that's undeniable that they were looking to that as some kind of inspiration. I don't think there's any confirmation 
that it's like, oh, it's a it's a split timeline. Louis missing? Good, he can go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the cold of this planet? I thought it was just this area. So yeah, this is the um this game has a few interesting details that I happen to know about. Good pace! <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Okay, um Yeah, uh so the areas from the first game reappear in this one to form the areas of this one, like, they, they reuse all of the same maps, but with, like, new context. This is the one area that is not based on anything in Pikmin 1, and the Forest Naval right. is the one thing from Pikmin 1 that is not used for this game. Allegedly. Some people like to connect those two dots and go, oh, this is actually, like, above the Forest Naval, because that's, like, a cave. Well, but no, the thing is, people baselessly claimed that this was a remix of the Forest Naval without noticing the fact that the two maps are very obviously different, and I'm also mm -hmm. guilty of this, because I saw other people saying it, and I'm like, I don't really remember the Forest Naval, so yeah, I guess so. Um, but then there was the manhole. I like the manhole. <laughs> so yeah, that would have definitely killed, like, three of those in Pikmin 1. This, this game's a lot more lenient. Well, no, huh? that's not even a game difference. That, that enemy literally can't kill Pikmin. Oh. That one specifically is programmed to never attack. I guess that makes sense, because you could get soft-locked. But, like... I don't know. I don't think I'm... you can lose any Pikmin on I'm that guessing one. the Y button is actually the top button for me. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that little imprint there uh, never goes away. Good. No matter how many days pass, it never <laughs> gets filled up with snow. I like the shitty little, like, GeoCities gif on <laughs> the corner of this message box. Yeah. Yeah, it looks better on a old TV. Yeah, I'm gonna abuse speed up. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> anyway, I, I feel- I, I've heard this game is more lenient, though. Yeah, we'll- we'll be seeing okay. both sides of that, because so I mean, I'll, I'll mention aside this from, aside now, from the I guess, like... <laughs> Yeah, so I adore this game. This is my favorite in the series so far. I mean, four could potentially change that, but it, for me, it's a pretty high bar. I'm also just like super nostalgic for this one because uh, I kind of have like a weird history with this game because I got the first one as one of my first two GameCube games, and I thought it was like fine, but I wasn't like, obsessed with it. I played through it just, like, once or twice. And, um, when this game was announced, I, for whatever reason, like, it seems like the type of thing where it's like, oh, you know, I didn't love the first game, I wouldn't really care about the second, but I read a bunch of stuff about it, and everybody seemed to be talking about, like, what an improvement it was, and I'm like, yeah, I want to try this out. And I got mm -hmm. it, and I liked it a lot. And then... There was, like, I basically was put in a situation where, um, it, it was, it was the whole hotel thing, which uh -huh. I'm not going to retell the whole story, but, like, um, there was a point where, I, I guess, long story short, you know, my family was living out of hotels for a while, and we couldn't really access most of our belongings, but at one point, we did kind of go back and grab some stuff, and... Among the things I grabbed was my GameCube and most of the games that I could find that were just kind of like, you know, not scattered to the fucking <clears throat> winds. Yeah. Um, and so I had those out, like, sitting out in the car when we were at the hotel, and I wanted to see if I could hook it up, because hotel TVs are notoriously shitty and, like, <laughs> don't have hookups, but uh, right. this one did. So I am like, yeah, I'm going to play something. What do I feel like? I haven't played Pikmin 2 in a while. I grabbed this game. And so I started playing through a new file. And not long after that, um, due to asshole intervention, all of the contents of the car were then fucking either sold off or, like, put into 
like a storage unit that was no longer that was like never seen again i really don't know what happened but we lost like a ton of shit and that included all the rest of my games so for a long time this was the only gamecube game i had and i played the shit out of it <laughs> so <clears throat> that makes sense um so a, a little a little question about the controls of this game like i can see that as i move move the left stick i can kind of move this cursor up it's like very fast like if i wanted to make fine adjustments like like i'm i'm, I'm barely touching the stick and then at some point yeah it just zooms over here suddenly like i wish there was a finer control over this um, uh that might be something to do with emulator settings or just the type of controller you're using here because uh the way it's supposed to work is tiny adjustments within a certain zone from the center will move the cursor but not the character and then the outer ring moves the character and the cursor at the same time um, I can kind of do that, but it's, like, very, very sensitive. Yeah, it's... You'll just kind of have to get used to it, probably. Like, you'll have yeah. to do some bit bopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bit bopping. <laughs> <clears throat> so here's our first product placement, which yep. uh, did get replaced with a generic thing in the Switch version. Yeah. Product placement is weird, because, like... I can see it both ways. I can see either it's in terms of like, I actually, I don't remember who pays who basically. Cause I'm like, I can either see this as Duracell are like, no, you can't use our product without our permission and paying us for the rights to use it. Versus I could see it as them paying, you know, Nintendo selling them like, oh, you know, we'll feature your product. And they're like paying for that. Like I could see it both ways. And I don't know which is yeah, actually the case. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure either. But uh, it is interesting to me how how detailed these things are, because if you zoom in on this thing, you can actually see like the expiration date on there, and I remember people using that like, as a theory. Was it like, was it like, like 2019 or something? How do you zoom um, in? R. Oh, 2010, okay. Yeah, and so it's just like, oh, you know, these games aren't in the far future. It's like, no, that's just, they didn't change that. <laughs> Uh. But it's like, does does there exist a magical device where you can just place an object in it and it gets like you know three D scanned and you can just make a model out of that? Because I kind of doubt it. Um, I think it's just like really close up photos. Okay, so I can't do the battery. I can't do the bag. Well, no, you you can't do that bag. You can do the other bag. I thought I thought that bag. I thought, one, I thought the bags were going to be the same, and two, that one looked like it had, a, like, a stick over it, like, you know, yes, yeah, speed up. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, uh. That's oh. a little bit odd. You'd think they would land at the cursor. Yeah. Uh, I actually can't do this bag either. Unless I, I guess I need to mix and match between Olimar and Louis. Yep. But that's cheating. It is not cheating. It's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Fun times. Like how you can tell that those two are uh, not <laughs> following. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Wah, 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 wah. Probably some start to watch right. I like how they send them out here with basically no tools to navigate the environment whatsoever, and they have to rely almost entirely on the Pikmin. Alright, um... I am trying to remember if you... I feel like you can get 25 on the first day, so there's... I I'm can't crush to... that bag yet, right? No, um, and the day ends as soon as you collect the battery. Okay. Maybe it is only 20. I thought you could have more than the minimum to collect that. Yeah. But uh, I guess just uh, zoom the camera out and kind of look around for other pellet poses, because I could have sworn there was at least like one or two other ones, but I might be thinking of that too. I may be stupid. Digerija digitis bead. Bad, 
<clears throat> so I'm also not sure how long to make these segments because I think the first game I sort of went for like 45 minutes to an hour. Sometimes they went a little over. I could do the same here, except this game does have a little bit of a different pace with the addition of caves. Um, yeah, it's it's very different. So, you know, I basically I want to avoid a video where I spend like you know the whole thing just in a cave, though that might not always be avoidable. But also, you know, if I'm in a level and the best thing for me to do next is a cave, but I only have like ten minutes left of the video before it gets to like an hour. You know, I don't exactly, uh, I don't know, I guess I could just stop it there, but I feel like it's very possible for that to just end up being an awkward situation where it's like, well, I have to start the cave, but I'm only going to be able to get, like, a, you know, a little ways in, and then stop it, and then, I feel like this is yeah, the kind I mean, of thing the, that the caves, the caves take a very long time, I don't think it's, I don't think you really need to worry about, like, having them all be in, like, a single video, or however you want to yes. do it. I just don't want it to be split awkwardly, but I, it's probably inevitable. So I should probably not worry about it, just try to do my best. Let's see. Uh, I can't see what else is on here. So why can you look at the top but not the bottom? It's strange. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I think there's also some different names for things. Like, some stuff is just they change the brand, and some stuff is they change the entire item, I think. Yeah, I'll... Any of any of the ones that don't look familiar, I'll point out, because I okay. know the treasures pretty well. Space will surely be joyous. So, uh, the timing for this is very convenient. I, I'm... Not sure if this will actually work out to like more people viewing it because of Pikmin 4 coming out, or if it won't really make a difference, but this was not planned, um, even though we've known the release date for a few months. I was kind of just like, you know, I'll do Sunshine, then Mario RPG, then Pikmin 2, and I didn't know how long those were going to take necessarily, but uh, ended up working out this way. I believe the first part of this is going up the Monday of the week it comes out, and the second part will be on the day Pikmin 4 comes out. <laughs> so. be a deluge of Pikmin content, because I assume you're going to be streaming the fourth one, right? I would like to. I'm also uh, avoiding looking at anything of the demo. I kind of just want to wait until the <clears throat> game comes out. So, uh, but what if you would play the demo and you just you just hate the game? Oh no. <laughs> Definitely going to happen. Yep. Mm, I really like this uh, end of day thing. I would hum this to my kid as a lullaby. <laughs> Not this, the end of the game. Ah yes, the Piclopedia. Have we got anything yet? We got the... Yeah. Yep. What? Shit, X is the left button, isn't it? Right. I guess it's the right button. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, hey. When do you unlock Louis' notes? Is that from being the game or? Um, yeah. Good. So, what are the requirements for beating this game? I don't actually remember. Um. The first ending is when you pay off the debt, so 10,000 pokos. I think of that as being... Do, do the credits roll? Yes. That's a weird one, because that's that's the reason that I count beating the Elite Four as the end of the game in Jota, in a, the Gen 2 Pokemon games. And yet, for me, Wistful Wild doesn't... I don't think that's post-game. I think of that as the last quarter of the game. Yeah, I mean, I basically <laughs> agree. It's it's like a it's like a false ending. But, that, but it makes but... me a hypocrite. <laughs> Because, yeah. because I, you know. But anyway, that's... There's that, and then there's just, you know, collect every treasure. And the thing is, I always save... Um, oh, hang on, can't you... I thought the, uh, Titan Dweevil was... didn't require all the treasures. 
it doesn't. I was about to say, like... Okay, because I consider that at the uh, end of the game, and then 100% is getting every treasure. Yeah, I guess so. I don't I don't know if I've ever actually played through this and not done Titan Dweeble last, so I don't know what happens if you mm, I see. Like, save Louie <clears throat> before collecting everything. I will probably not differ. I'll probably also do that last. I, uh, you know, I like to mix things up and do things in weird orders, but if I... I feel like in this game it wouldn't really make much of a difference. Right, so we're officially on timer mode, but... Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. The game does have unlimited days, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna collect a few more, I think. Yeah, well, you'll need to anyway. Okay. I mean... Oh no, I need to immediately be multitasking. Uh, quick, switch yep. to Louis and he can take, you know, no, half of it's them and... not necessary. <laughs> no, you must be multitasking be... at all times. I gotta do a two day run or it's not gonna be a legit playthrough and I'll have my game on card revoked. Yes. Alright, um. It'll be uh, removed by the apothecary. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. I hate Bej, it's taken over our life in an <laughs> unsavory way. <laughs> like the going into games machine? Maybe we should sell it. <laughs> going into games machine is a pretty excellent thing though. I like the going into games machine and my favorite part is definitely how, you know, the end of the story is that it's just like, yeah, it was starting to take over our lives, so we had to get rid of it. <laughs> it's like, fuck. There's like a little slope that goes up behind the ship. You should check if there's something up there. Nope, okay. There's just a fun little slide. There's, a, there's an egg that spawns up there later. Okay. Uh, Pikmin don't hatch from eggs. No, but dogs lay eggs. I learned something today. Okay, and, 36. Uh, there's also more over by the other section, but 30 might be enough to crush the bag, I don't remember. Ooh, just barely enough. Yet. Yeah. yeah, most of them falling off, yeah. Yeah. I just want to throw them over the bag. That would uh, I don't think there's much risk of that. Okay. Can I throw Louie up there? What do you have to unlock the ability to throw captains? Uh, you can't throw captains at all in this game. That's only in three. Oh. Okay. So, um, for small bulb orbs, the best strategy is just to throw a Pikmin straight onto its back because it one hit kills it. Oh, okay. Just spam throw. And there we go, first death. Man, that was bullshit. I was very precise. I was like, this is perfectly on its back. Awesome, it's gonna get it. And it's, it didn't work. Yeah, well, okay, I guess let, let's let that be the first lesson then. Um, the curse follow up to my <laughs> Follow up to my instruction. Um, That's the lesson I've learned from this. The curse was a fucking liar, but go on. It can be, but uh, follow up instruction. Uh, whenever you're trying to do something like that, always throw a few, because... If you miss the first throw, I guess then... that makes sense. But I was worried that it was like, oh no, they'll like interfere with each other. And... Oh. But uh... I have the capability of abusing safe states to avoid that in this game, but uh, probably not warranted in most cases. Having having that happen now has established this as not being a no death run, so now yeah, the uh, pressure is not on. Are the, are the flowers on the ledge grown? Look to the right. I saw them starting to spread earlier. It's like to the right of the onion. Uh, oh. oh, there's only one. Oh, okay, it's a five. Grown. All right. Um, I think I can leave those to do that thing. Um. Do we all thing? Do we all thing? Uh, I will leave Louie behind. Wait. You yeah. need to dismiss and then. Yeah. Okay. Leave Louie behind with them. Pick, 
Pikmin can take these Olamas. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Manhole. I think manhole video. So good. So I All right. assume I just so want to here just to, just to test it. Um, I would not swarm. I would throw rapidly. Why? It just works better in my experience. Well, one died. Right. I'm gonna reload and try it again. Yeah, I'm gonna try the swarm and see what happens. Get... Okay. Oh shit. Mm. Okay, well, it did work out. Um, let's. Well, never mind, I'll have you test it when there's no timer going. Okay. Um. Damn it. Uh, I guess go over to the left section, see if there's flowers over there. While you're waiting on this okay. ship to come up. Yeah. I seem to remember there being, like, two or three flowers. Because uh, there's a stupid trick that you can do, which is uh, useful in a minimum day run, where if you go in the cave and leave immediately it respawns a couple flowers and i think it's like the two that are over here on Same. that upper ledge and um, you can keep doing that just to maximize your number i uh was gonna say i seem to remember speaking of the caves i seem to remember them incorrectly like i always think of the caves as being as having way more floors than they do whenever i watch footage it's like yeah this mid-game dungeon has seven floors and i'm like really i thought I they mean, i thought they I got up into like the floor. 20s and 30s like often <laughs> I think the longest is like 16. Um, <laughs> most of them are at least five. I know, I know. I'm not saying they're like two and three floors, but what I mean is, I was, I literally thought that it started with five to seven, and then very quickly got up into the teens, and then most of the late late game ones were like 20, 30. Oh uh, yeah, no. 16 is not that bad. Like, you know, I seriously thought it was going to be, like, you know, two whole segments spent delving through some of these places. It still very well might be. Yeah, I see. Okay. Collect the utter scrap. I wonder how far they've uh, gotten over here. Not very. <laughs> There's an item to the left, though. Okay. Believe it or not, this stupid ass crushed can is, uh. Damn it. I think it's like the second heaviest item in the game. Good. I know there's the 1000. Yeah. I'm probably wrong. There's probably some a couple things that take like 40 or 50, but it's, uh. Damn it. I, item weights are like way lower in this game compared to the first. Mm hmm. So Omar can stay there with the wall. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we keep referencing this manhole thing. There's a, <laughs> there's a video that is uh, very strangely edited that basically just implies that the forest navel is like a sewer beneath that manhole. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it's like it's, it's split into chapters, yeah. and each chapter is just manhole. <laughs> yeah, it's like, chapter one, manhole, and he starts talking, and then, you know, chapter two. Well, no, but he'll often lead into it, and he's like, that brings me back to the chapter two, manhole. And it's just like, you know, finally, uh, I, I've, I've realized what I've been missing this whole time. It was chapter three, manhole. <laughs> it's just like yeah. getting slowly more and more manic. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I interpret it as being probably a shit post. Like, even if he believes the theory, I don't think, you know, he was taking it yeah, that probably. seriously. I assumed it was, it was supposed to be funny more than anything. And it worked. It made me laugh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> it 
if you dig a <laughs> six foot, uh, no, like a six centimeter manhole, that's not that big. I'm trying to figure out how what, what would be a good because because the because the Olimar and Louis are like three centimeters tall, right? So I'm trying to figure mm, out. I think I think they're smaller than that because an inch is like is like two centimeters. Right, I think they're less than an inch. <laughs> yeah, I'm really doing, doing this. What are you finding? A C battery? Nope, I'm finding the one. I don't know how I did this. I mean, I, I also just have Google. No, you must do it the stupid way. Okay, well, we'll do it the stupid way, and then I'll tell you what I found on Google. <laughs> Box for new play control. Manual. This is where I originally read this information. Oh, I see. Yeah, I remember the GameCube manual, manual comparing them to, like, the controller and the memory card and stuff. Pikmin are three centimeters tall, Olimar is four centimeters tall. Man, what the fuck? The thing I'm looking at says that uh, Olimar is 1.9 centimeters or 0 0.75 uh -huh. inches. Okay. I guess they're inconsistent there. Yeah, I'll put those boxes back later. Also, it's getting dark in here, so let me turn on my light. Very professional production here. No editing yeah, uh -uh. required whatsoever. Nor will any be done. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> This thing looks like it's screaming. Yeah, pareidolia, yeah. Yes. Cool. Oh. Alright. Alright. Well, you uh have nothing left to do on this day, so here, let's let us let us demonstrate something. Is Switch there a to Almar. Yeah. Uh grab these Pikmin and go in the cave. It'll bring the ones that are also with Louie. Nope, gonna kill them in the water. You better not. Reminder, r slash amiibo has a zero tolerance policy for trolling, harassment, witch hunting, demeaning, and talking down to other users. To be fair, amiibo, like, people who are, there are a lot of people who are really weird <laughs> about amiibos, like the Rosalina guy. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> so it might be warranted. How do I get in? Press that. Fake. Oh, wait, what? Is it not? Did I fucking tell you the wrong shit? I mean, Louis hopping in. Yeah, but I don't... I don't think it took the other Pikmin. Well, too late. I mean, you can leave and get him. It's fine. I can? Yeah. That's... weird. I thought that you could do that. What the hell am I thinking of? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So yeah, you can, uh... Yep, yeah, it didn't take them all. Okay. Ignore me, I guess. But yeah, you can pause and, uh... There's an option to, like, exit the cave. It won't end the day. So then you can grab the... But it, do you do lose all your progress in the cave? Uh, yes. Including Pikmin deaths will be undone. No, Pikmin deaths will stay. They'll <laughs> stay dead, but you'll lose all of your treasure. Fantastic! Excellent decision making, gentlemen. Your first successful spelunking expedition. Send a report back to the president, but they didn't do anything. Where the hell are the other Pikmin? Uh, in the ship. Oh. Also, there's two more flowers. I yeah. guess you can I'm like, out. oh no, I don't have any time to, to get them, but I, I do. I don't know, Grizzle Bees had time to get them. They do. Burn. And now we won't out. have the funny number. Oh no, whatever shall I do? 73 is also a funny number. 
Yes, it is. Okay. Wait, gotta get this too. No. I mean, you could. Oh, I just want to over. You do have the time for it. Oh my god, how? <laughs> yeah. I had a dream that, uh, apparently I used to frequently take an air mattress down to, like, the swimming pool at... It was like a hotel hospital apartment combination. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I used to. I used to take I'm at an the air hotel. Down I'm at to the, the hospital. Pool. I'm at the swimming pool. And... I'm at the hotel hospital swimming pool combination. Wait, no, I messed up. Uh... But yeah, apparently that was where I used to sleep, according to this dream. <laughs> Excellent. And the chlorine of the pool area discolored half of the air mattress, but not the other <laughs> yeah. half. I, I don't. Well, it's because it was like floating in the water, so it was the part that was actually. Submerged. No, it wasn't in the water. I was, I wasn't even in the room with the pool. I was like outside of the room with the pool. Oh, good. Um. Clearly, the chlorine was coming out of the pool, but then just sticking close to the ground, as like a you know like a layer of the, of like chlorine vapor. <laughs> I don't know. But also, it wasn't, like, the bottom half discolored. It was, like, you know, horizontally. Is another name for this cave Metamorphosis Cave? <laughs> what, what was it called? Emergence Cave. You, you will not get this. Okay. Uh, you can press Z to switch to a top-down view, if that helps. Ah. I think this is good. Yep. Let's throw a couple and then whistle them back. Because then the other one's going to go after him. So yeah, you can do that. With a large group like this, you really can just swarm them. But uh, the throwing on top is a good strategy for if you only have a couple Pikmin. Or if uh, there's like small enemies and big ones mixed together. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, these places are simultaneously more chill because there's no timer. And uh, also more stressful because there's, like, bullshit that can happen, but you can also reset yeah, every there's, Yeah, there's enemies in higher concentrations, there's a lot of traps. The, the caves are theoretically dangerous, if not for the fact that you can <clears throat> just constantly reload. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot the beasts are worth a small amount of money. Alright, what we got? Is this bottle cap different? Nope. Is this the Drought Ender or the Quenching Emblem? I don't remember which one this one's called. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Very old-timey oh. bottle cap. But is it a DNL cap? No, I don't know what that means. There was a very short-lived 7-Up variant called DNL that was just their logo upside down. Huh. I like the squashed orange. Yes. Fantastic. Oops. Louis. Why am I playing as so Louis? Ew. So this one I'm 100% positive of. Uh, you do not have to have your Pikmin with you when going into a uh, floor to the, like, a okay. hole to the next floor. They'll all follow you regardless. That makes sense. So in large floors, when you don't want to fucking grab the whole group to get them over, or if there's like a bunch of crap still in the way, you don't have to ever worry about it. Yes. Yeah, can did. Alright. <clears throat> because this is Tutorial Cave, I think uh, there's literally only one other floor. So neither of us have literally. really looked at anything from the demo, as we mentioned. Um... So I don't know how exactly the caves in Pikmin 4 work, because I think it's been confirmed that they're basically like in this game, but I'm sure that there's at least some minor differences. Yeah, and it's possible, and I'm like... saying this knowing that the demo probably clarifies a lot of this, but I haven't seen it, so... Right. Yeah, I know the, uh, the direct showed that there was no time limit, so... Yeah. Also, I love how the explanation for, uh, 
there being like no passage of time in these caves is just the caves have a weird magnetic property and magnets stop time. <laughs> so are we are we to assume that when Olimar and Louis pop in here, their brains just go fucking haywire and they're just like <laughs> and they just <laughs> just zip through these things in like two seconds. I guess. <laughs> and the Pikmin. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, however am I going to do this? You cannot have 101 Pikmin at one single time. Also, I like how when I said the utter scrap was the second heaviest, I forgot about the globe, the globe pieces. Mm -hmm. So, it's Doomsday Apparatus, then the globe pieces, <laughs> then possibly some 40 or 50 thing that I'm forgetting about, and then the utter scrap. So, yeah, I'm not- I'm Fossilized also- Ursa Day. I'm not going to be going over, like, basic info that was in Pikmin 1. I honestly might not even, like, I assume you'll be, you know, explaining stuff to me that is necessary information or useful information for this game, so, you know, I won't need to explain that. But, yeah, for anything that was kind of, you know, already a thing in the first game, not going to be explained. I assume people watching this aren't, you know, yeah, completely yeah. unfamiliar with this game. But... I'm actually going to be making sure to stand in front of the enemies as much as possible to maximize the damage that Olimar and Louis take. Hmm. Um, if you don't do that, then you're a fucking wuss. Like... The sissy hide in the doorway technique. <laughs> I like the sissy highway. Well, I kind of don't because I don't like that word, but... Yeah, my back is itchy. Yeah. What? They were purple <laughs> in the first game. <laughs> a flower can bloom underground, but do you believe love can bloom on the battlefield? The Pikmin yearn to be tossed into the flower. This flower Who was made. Could imagine that such a flower could grow on Booster Pass? <laughs> yes. Good. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. And, uh, oh. Yeah, okay. What, did I waste it? No, you're good. Okay. Yes, yeah, sumo. And broke. just like that, the game is broken open. <laughs> Pikmin yep. or purple Pikmin are insanely busted in this game. Uh huh. So I know obviously they're not in the main game of Pikmin Three, and they're only in the side modes. They they did get like, um. They got nerfed nerf, in three. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember exactly to what extent, but in this game, not only do they have like the high attack power and stuff, but they have a really high chance of stunning any enemy that you throw them on, yeah. and that just makes many enemies extremely trivial. So I've heard. <laughs> they are slow as shit, though. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my <Sorry>. god. <laughs> I just kept having hiccups. <laughs> Belt. Is there gonna be random nectar and rocks and shit that Pikmin are gonna latch themselves onto, you know, with no instruction? Yeah. I like how I, like how I didn't even need the uh, rest of the mins. I mean, I'm gonna get them anyway if I can, but... It's, it's it's very satisfying seeing the row of leaves and Pikmin all just yeah. you know. Oh, uh, hold down R. Stuff. So yeah, this is like a weird behind the character camera behind angle the that bed. you can use if you want. It's, it's like not four. not helpful that often, but it's a thing. I like how that was one of the things they led their advertisements with for Pikmin 4. They're like, this game has a different camera angle. Better get yeah, used to it. That's kind of weird. I like the random microchip in inside the globe. The sphere chart. So, yeah, the first one of these is going to get me access to Forest of Hope. No, no, that's not what it's called. What is it called? Uh. Shit. Morning wood. 
awakening would. <laughs> uh, and then, and then that uh, awakening would is gonna have the other globe piece, which will send me to uh, the flexing pool, right? And then wistful wild is just when we're like, oh no, we forgot Louie. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so um, I did want you to test this. Uh, let the basic, basically, just kind of let yourself be surrounded by Pikmin, and then mash A as fast as you can. Okay, so that's like your throwing speed. Now, call him back, and now try doing that while also doing small circles with the C stick. You're gonna have to hold the controller in a weird way to do it. It is it not faster? I don't know what you mean by small circles, like not pushing the stick very far, or... Um, well, okay, actually, sorry, you, you want to basically have the Pikmin swarming around Olimar as you're spamming A. It it should increase the throw speed. Well, like, right now they're behind him, you want to you want be, be, like, completely surrounded by the swarm. It's, it's kind of weird, um... Not sure I really get it. Because that was the thing I was going to point out with the big bulb orb earlier, um, where he... Looks about the same to me. This yeah. is as fast as you can hit a... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. At least while doing that. <laughs> How are we doing? Uh, Luigi's Mansion. I thought the singing only happened if you had 20 of each type. No, that's when they do, uh... I know, it's, I know, but I thought that was the only th song they could do. Uh, yeah, in Caves, they just do the Luigi's Mansion theme. Just constantly. Water shooting out of this geezer with incredible force. And then you're like, oh, what do you mean, geezer? Yeah. And the comments are like, no, seriously, what do you mean, geezer? And then the comments are like, no, you misspelled it, it's supposed to have an S. It's, uh, it's supposed to have a Z, not an S. <clears throat> Question. Yes? If the, uh, you know, the, the tip of the SS Drake, or whatever this thing is called, um, <laughs> that, that's Pikmin's It doesn't have a name. Okay, if the tip of the ship can come down here and pull the treasures out by itself, why the fuck can't it go around and salvage them from the surface as well? Uh, because it's an asshole, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, this ship just doesn't really have a name. It's just the Hokitate shit. Because mm. the first one's the SS Dolphin. Yeah. And I never actually remember what, like, how it looks different from this one. In my memory, these these are identical. <laughs> this one's a little more generic. Yeah. Oh no, it's Morgana! <laughs> This one's also very rusty. Yeah. Uh, this is the only time that uh, it's going to be Morgana, though. Except for whatever day you happen to reach the 10k pick Poco, like, goal, though, because as soon as you hit that, the day ends. Yeah. Unless you're in a cave, and then it ends as soon as you leave the cave. Does it still keep counting the Pocos after that when you go to the post game, or does it just stop caring? It does, they just don't do anything. Okay. I called it the post game fuck. <laughs> I just said that earlier that I don't think of it as that. It's I never even it, heard anyone consider it that until It's just the second part the, of the game. People yeah, were talking on the Patreon server and somebody called they're like, Oh I never I never bother with the post game in, in Pikmin 2 after my first playthrough. I just I just beat the game and then you know that's it. So I've hardly ever seen the Wisp Flood. I'm like, what do you mean post game? <laughs> Wanna... Happy hockey tasting. You know like... what that sounded like? What? Fucking fat Dudley. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Yeah. <laughs> He's loving the high life. Good shit. Alright, well I think that's a perfect place to end the first segment. Um yeah. next time we'll be heading to a brand new area Ooh. the morning wood. Um once again with a shitty GeoCities GIF um <laughs> accompanying us. Look at that thing, it's like four frames a second. Okay, now I'm being a bit too harsh. I don't know, something about it looks very funny to me. Anyway, uh, yeah, next time, that.